All right. So today we're going to um, we're going to take a deep dive into the 2024 presidential race. We're focusing specifically on Michigan. And we have this really interesting article about a recent campaign rally in Detroit. And uh, some pretty big names were there. Former President Obama rapper Eminem. And it's just fascinating. I mean, the race is so close right now. It feels like anything could happen. Yeah, it's really uh, it's really interesting to see how this rally in Detroit kind of becomes a microcosm of the whole election. You can see all the anxieties and hopes of the voters in a state that really could decide who the next president is. So let's start with the basics, I guess. Why is Michigan so important in this election? Well, first off, it's got 16 electoral votes up for grabs, but it's not just about the numbers. It's part of that blue wall that Democrats have relied on for years. Biden managed to rebuild it in 2020, but things are changing. The state's economy has gone through a lot of transitions, and some voters, especially certain demographics, are feeling pretty disillusioned, and the Democrats really need to win them back. So it's not just about holding on to past victories. They need to adapt to this new reality. Exactly. Hmm. And that's where having Obama campaign for Harris in Detroit is so smart. He's not just popular. He's a symbol of a time when things felt better for a lot of people in Michigan, mm. especially for African-American voters. He has a real connection with them, and they might be wavering in their support right now. It's like they're trying to recapture that energy from 2008, that sense of hope and change that got Obama elected in the first place. Right. And they're hoping his popularity will win over voters who are struggling with the economy now. But there's another part of this rally that's really interesting. Eminem showed up. Yeah, this is where it gets really wild. Not only did he introduce Obama, but Obama walked out on stage to lose yourself. He even rapped a few lines. It's such a striking image. It's brilliant political theater. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just about entertaining people. It was about connecting with voters in a different way, it's especially voters who might not care about traditional politics. Yeah. Eminem has been a vocal critic of Trump for a long time. He even risked alienating some fans with his freestyle The Storm back in 2017. Yeah, that freestyle was powerful. Mm. He was directly criticizing Trump's policies, especially the ones that hurt working class people. And that demographic is really important in Michigan. It seems like he's putting his reputation on the line, using his platform to make a difference. And that's part of a bigger trend. We're seeing this blending of pop culture and politics. Mm -hmm. Artists, musicians, athletes, they're all using their influence in ways we haven't seen before. So it's not just about star power. It's about connecting with voters on a deeper level. But does it actually work? Do celebrity endorsements really change anyone's mind? That's the big question right now. Some analysts think it could alienate moderate voters who see it as a gimmick. But it could also energize people who feel ignored by the political establishment. It's a big gamble, and we'll have to see if it pays off for Harris in Michigan. Okay, so we've been talking about this rally in Detroit, but the article also points out that this close race, it's not just happening in Michigan. Harris and Trump are actually tied in the polls in four other states, too. Hmm. Pennsylvania, Nevada, Wisconsin, and North Carolina. Wow, so it's like five separate nail biters all going on at the same time. These battleground states must be on the edge of their seats. Yeah, exactly. And each state has its own unique political scene, you know. But what we're seeing in Michigan, all the anxieties about the economy, the changing demographics, the desire for a leader who understands their struggles. It's like a reflection of what's happening across the country. It's like Michigan is the canary in the coal mine for this whole election. Exactly. And that's why these five states are so crucial. If Harris wins Michigan and holds on to the other blue wall states, she has a real chance. But if Trump can flip him back, it's a whole different story. Yeah, the stakes are incredibly high. Every single vote, every rally, every celebrity endorsement, it all matters so much. And that's what makes this election so captivating. It's not just about politics. It's about two different visions for America. And the results in these key states will have a ripple effect across the entire country. It feels like we're at a turning point, and the choices we make now will shape the future for years to come. But let's go back to this idea of politics and pop culture mixing. It's one thing for celebrities to share their opinions, but to have Eminem, someone who's known for challenging authority and speaking truth to power, sharing the stage with a former president, that's a whole other level of engagement. It shows how much the political landscape has shifted. The old rules don't apply anymore, and cultural icons are stepping up. They're using their platforms to try and get people involved who might normally tune out politics. It's a risky strategy, but it also shows that people are realizing politics can't just stay in Washington. It has to connect with people's everyday lives. It's like they're saying this election isn't some abstract debate. It's about your life, your community, your future, mm -hmm. and you need to be a part of it. And for someone like Eminem, who represents the struggles and hopes of so many working class Americans, 
that message could be really powerful. Yeah. Especially in a place like Michigan where people are feeling a lot of anxiety right now. Yeah, it's like he's giving a voice to people who feel ignored, bridging the gap between politicians and the people they're supposed to represent. Right. Whether or not it actually translates into votes is still up in the air. But this fusion of politics and pop culture, it's shaking things up and forcing us to rethink how we participate in the process. It's definitely making this election one for the history books. But with all the spectacle and drama, it's easy to forget about the human stories at the heart of it all. What does this election mean for the single mom in Detroit trying to make ends meet? Or the recent college grad drowning in student loan debt? Or the family farmer who's about to lose their home? Those are the voices that often get lost in all the noise of the campaign. But they're the ones who will feel the impact of our choices. That's why this election is so important. It's not just about Republicans versus Democrats. It's about what kind of country we want to be, what values we prioritize, and what future we're building for ourselves and our children. Yeah, it really puts things in perspective, doesn't it? It's not just about winning or losing. It's about real people's lives. Absolutely. And it brings us back to this question of celebrity involvement in politics. Is it actually a good thing? Yeah, it's tough to say. On one hand, you have someone like Eminem who can shine a light on issues that might otherwise be ignored. But on the other hand, it could all be very superficial, you know, just sound bites and slogans instead of real solutions. Right. And there's always the risk that voters will be swayed by a famous face rather than actual policies. It's hard to know who's really trying to make a difference and who's just looking for attention. So how do we make sense of all this? With politics and pop culture becoming so intertwined, how do we make sure that everyday people's voices aren't drowned out? That's the challenge, isn't it? I think it takes a critical eye. You have to look beyond the spectacle and really engage with the issues. We need to be more media literate to understand the motivations behind the messages we're constantly bombarded with. So it's not just about watching or listening. It's about thinking critically about what we're seeing and hearing. Asking ourselves, what's the message here? Who benefits from this? And does it align with my own values and the future I want to see? Exactly. That kind of engagement is crucial in a democracy, where every voice has the power to shape the outcome. Okay, so let's take a step back and recap what we've learned today. We've got a presidential race that's too close to call. Michigan is a key battleground state that could swing the election either way. Obama's back on the campaign trail, trying to rekindle that energy from his first campaign. And then we have Eminem stepping into the political arena, blurring the lines between pop culture and politics in a way that's both exciting and a little bit worrying. It's unlike any election we've seen before, that's for sure. It reflects how much the political landscape has changed and how influential cultural figures have become in shaping the conversation. And as we head into the final weeks of the campaign, it's clear that the stakes are incredibly high. Every vote, every voice, every action matters. So as you go about your day, think about this. Mm -hmm. How will you use your own voice and your own influence to create the future you want? It's a question worth asking ourselves as we navigate these uncertain times. Thanks for joining us today on this deep dive into the 2024 presidential race. We'll be back next week with another fascinating topic. Until then, stay curious and stay engaged.